And of course, reaction to the fiscal update is rolling in. Mayor Olivia Chow, visibly deflated in the wake of that announcement, says the funding is just not ambitious enough for Toronto's affordable housing plan, which aims to build 65,000 new homes by 2030. The funding from the federal government covers 30,000 new apartment buildings in that same time frame, but it is not clear what Toronto's cut will be. The billion dollars is about 7,000 units of housing, uh, in, in, as in the statement, as they said. Uh, Toronto has a approximately 10% of the population of Canada. So we could get more or we could get less, but we can't predict that until 2025. There's a plan there, it's promising, but people need more, faster. The city has already secured funding for approximately 4,500 homes, with the estimated remaining amount of funding needed from both the provincial and federal government between 500 million and 800 million for the next seven years plus low cost loans, all while the city faces a $1.5 billion budget shortfall. They'll have to do one of two things. They'll have to either significantly raise taxes or find substantial cuts. And when you look at the budget, to cut $1.5 billion out of the budget, that's going to be services that people notice. Now, it's also important to note, you heard Mayor Olivia Chow mention 2025. This federal funding will not be available until then. At City Hall, Michelle Mackey for City News.